Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to create this simple money split animation. Now this will work with any object that you want to split. In this case, I'll just be using this money to show you how this is done. Here in the media pool, I have this image over here of $100 bill. So I'll just rename this as well real quick. And I have this wood texture as well. I'll just again rename this. Now, the first thing that we'll do is we're going to work with this bill over here. So we need to split this into two parts. We'll, we'll have the right side and the left side of this bill. So uh, let's just copy and paste another version of this. Oops. I don't want any merge in this for now. Let's just rename this to bill left and this will be bill right. All right, so on the one that's on the right, let's just add in a mask to this a polygon mask. Let's just disable this so you can see the bill and then we can just sort of create a random shape. We'll just enable the polygon mask like so. I'm going to copy and paste this mask over here on the bill, the left side of the bill. So we have the right side and then if we take a look at this node over here, uh, it's still on the right side. So we'll just go to the polygon and click on this invert option. So now it's on the left side. Let's just merge these two together. This will result in a merge. And if we take a look at this merge, we will have this one complete node together. And now what we want to do next is let's start adding some more room to our scene. After this merge, we will add in a crop tool to this. And if we take a look at this, uh, this will create this 1920 by 1080 composition. We will click on this option that says keep centered. So bill is in the center. And after the merge over here, you can add in a transform to control the size of it. Now, what we want to do next is we want to create the animation where the this note or this bill splits into two. So we'll start at frame 30. We'll leave uh, some of this starting portion for another animation. So let's just move our playhead or the time indicator at frame 30 and we will add in a transform after this node the bill and we'll just create animation on center x and let's create animation on angle as well let's move forward to frame 60 and change the x position like so and you can see that it's kind of splitting the node like so and then also the angle as well let's just slightly um, angle it to the right over here let's go to the spline and select these keyframes and then we we will select the keyframes and hit f on the keyboard to smooth that out and let's hit the t key to ease it into 100 and see how that looks there we have it and maybe i'll just ease it out as well so let's just use something like the 70 on both here we have it um, and we will just do this over here as well on the left side add in a transform go to frame 30 create a keyframe on center x and angle and then let's go to frame 60 and sort of move it to the left and then change the angle as well right so maybe we want to change the center x even more over here and just kind of create this random splitting effect let's just ease it into 70 and 70 as well and let's play this this is how it's gonna look you can add in a drop shadow select this tool click on add and this will add in a drop shadow like this you can definitely change the blur amount distance and increase the strength let's um, take this wood texture and merge it with this drop shadow and this will bring the wood texture in the front we'll hit ctrl t on the keyboard but we have this resolution changed so after the wood node over here we will add in a letter box to this so that this is going to be in 1920 by 1080 resolution and now you can like change the texture or the color of the wood so you can add in a color corrector after this and change the brightness and all that stuff over here we change the saturation gain and all that stuff and if you notice any line in the node over here as you can see you can go to 
either of these polygon mask nodes and change the border width so if i reduce it reduce the border width i can get rid of that line like so and now you can add as many effects as you want after this so let's just combine this with media out and let's add the very first frame also create an animation on this transform over here where the node comes into the scene so let's just move it down over here and change the angle as well like that and let's create a keyframe on center x y and angle let's go to frame 30 and bring it back to the center so this to 0 0.5 set the angle to 0 i'm going to the spline and make these animations smooth and let's see how that looks and maybe i'll just want to ease it in and out slightly here we have it that's how easy it is to create this animation thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next one